Hey everybody, just wanted to have a quick talk about some issues people may be encountering about selection. So, um, just my, the thing that I get mostly wrong, and I get wrong all the time, is when I have an if statement and I have the condition, I forget something at the end. What I forget to put at the end is the colon. So in Python, of course, you need a colon after your condition. That's the rule. And I, I'd say every program I've ever written, I forget to do it. I run it, I get the error, and then I fix it. So the top one is wrong. We need, as you see, the green little colon there. We need a colon, otherwise it doesn't work. Equally as well, if I have this statement, which looks perfectly right, but the I is a capital I. In Python, I is a lowercase I for if. This happens somewhat because if you're putting Python code, again, into a Word document or PowerPoint, they will tend to capitalize the first letter of each sentence anyway. But f for us, we need to make sure the I is a small I, and if it can't be a big I, otherwise it's not a, a reserve word or keyword that Python knows. So top one wrong, bottom one right. Another one we have here, we, we're saying x gets the value of the input, then y gets the value of the input, and then we're checking if x is bigger than y. The x in this case, though, is a small x when we're reading it in, and then it becomes a big x in the comparison. And again, that's, that's no good. So we need to make sure if we declare a variable of type x, lowercase, then every time we're using that x, it's lowercase x. If we call a variable is prime with a capital I and a capital P, then it must be capital I, capital P everywhere because Python is what's called case sensitive. It, it thinks capital X is a different variable from small x. So you need to make sure all your capitalization is correct. Here's one that's a, an interesting one. Uh, somebody had this issue in the lab. They were they had an if x is bigger than y, then print x is bigger, else print y is bigger. What's wrong with that? It's simply the else. The else isn't indented properly. Else has to be in line with the if, so it can't be pushed in because the, the if, then, and else part should line up with the end if. So they should all be at the start, and it's the two prints that are indented in. So again, if we push the else in, Python will not understand that command at all and will give you an error because it's just like that. It needs the else to be at the start of the line, if you see what I mean. This is something I have problems with, so I might as well go through it with you guys. I can't really tell the difference between less than and greater than without drawing a little crocodile around the um, greater than and less than sign. It appears, based on this picture anyway, which I found on the internet, if the crocodile is looking that way to the left, I guess, 6 is greater than 10, or if the crocodile is looking over at me to the right, then 10 is, gre 10 is greater than 6. 6 is less than 10, 10 is greater than 6. So if you're having problems with less than or greater than, draw a crocodile around its crocodile's teeth, and the crocodile eats the bigger of the two numbers. So as you can see there, the crocodile is eating the 10 in both cases because it's the bigger of the two numbers. If I, want to, so if I want to check if x is bigger than y, then it's x, chomp, chomp, y. That's how it looks. If I want to check if x is smaller than y, it's x chomp, chomping the y the other way. If I want to check if x is equal to y, it's equals equals for the equal sign, because we know that the equal sign is used for assignment, so equals equals is equals. If I want to check if x is not equal to y, it's simply x exclamation mark uh, equals y, or pling pling equals y, sometimes it's called. If I want to check if something is less than zero, we can use any number. We can use the number zero in our, in our if statement. And again, if we want to see if x is less than zero, the crocodile is eating the zero. If we want to check if x is equal to zero, again, it's equals equals. If we want to check x is not equal to zero, it's not equal to the same way. If, if I have a, an instruction to type in yes or no, type in y or, or, or n, and I want to check that they type in y, I read in the value using the input, then I go if x equals equals invert commas y. So have they typed in the letter y, or have they typed in the letter in for no? Maybe I want to check if it's not equal to no. So that's it, that's it. That, that's some issues that some people may have had with the selection. We'll see you on the next episode. <laughs>